Hello and welcome to today's Do You Remember? Um, well, you don't really remember this because this is brand new and uh, this is unusual because normally you would see uh, highlights of past conventions in this spot. But today I'm doing a real talk video because a lot of you guys keep asking me questions about my live streams. Um, so I thought I would just uh, show you how things work. Maybe this is gonna be a, like an FAQ or something. So go have fun. The live streams are produced using a total of six PCs, six light sources, five image sources and a lot of hidden gear that you may not even see. There are two locations in my small apartment that are important. Right now we are sitting at my editing desk where the streaming PC is located. That's because I occasionally stream other events uh, so the streaming PC needs to be close to my other video editing equipment. The PC is running OBS, a very popular free streaming software that pretty much supports every service that exists. And yes, I'm playing Minecraft on the other PC. But this is only the streaming component. Let's move on to the DJ desk where the actual magic happens. The DJ equipment is nothing special. It's a Pioneer DJM 800 and two XDJ 700s. Low budget players, but they do the job and they do it fantastic. It's a good alternative to the uh, CDJs which cost an arm and a leg. On top of that, there's two good old uh, SL 1210s, which I occasionally use as well. I don't use them regularly because playing from vinyl needs a lot more preparation and you are very limited to you know, pretty much classics. Playing vinyl is way too expensive these days, especially when you stream on a weekly basis and you want to drop new stuff every time. A lot of people keep asking me why I don't have a microphone. Well, as you can see, I have one and it's actually a pretty good one and it can be heard on gaming streams occasionally. Das mache ich bei YouTube, ist Male Ficus 18. Ich glaube, ich Tichi wollte hier gerade einen schwarz-weißen Prefix zuschmeißen. But in my own streams, the music is the star, not me. I don't want to interrupt the music with my chatter, so no microphone for you guys. Sorry, I got my keyboard for that. For the streams, I use three cameras. A Sony X1 as the main camera and two GoPro Hero 2 for extra angles. The mixer view and the back view. On top of that, there is PC number one, providing a non-stop video loop I can always cut to when I need to run out of screen for whatever reason, because I don't like showing an empty scene, so well, let's just switch to the fun part. An old MacBook that is PC number two logs into the Pioneer network and grabs the metadata out of it. A tool named BeatLink Trigger creates the player overlay you see in my streams. A third PC, it's actually an ancient laptop, plays the GIF loops which are sent to the projector that throws them on the wall. That actually turned out to be one of the most popular features of my streams. And it's fun. PC number four is used for watching my own streams so I can chat and interact with you. It's also the PC that gives me the most pain because it blue screens every now and then. PC number 5 is connected to this little flight case. It's a TV station in a box that I made for EF. It has an Atom Television Studio switcher hidden in it. I use that to switch between cameras. And it also creates the player overlays, coming from the MacBook. I use a tiny, fully customizable USB keyboard to switch video sources. This is actually just a remote for the same PC. Those things are cheap and super helpful, it's very convenient. An audio compressor helps me keeping the levels under control, because you know when you're live DJing, sometimes one track is louder and the other one isn't. The compressor helps compensating this a little bit. Also, it's shiny and it has lots of blinking LEDs. You can never have enough of that. Speaking of lights, you would be surprised how much light you need to really illuminate a scene properly. I use three large LED panels for general illumination. The barn doors help me guiding the light so it only goes where I want it to be and so it won't be all over the place. On top of that, I have a little cheap effect for the mixer and a spotlight for the players. Another spotlight illuminates me from behind. This is an old trick that makes the person in front of the camera stand out from the background a little bit. And then there's a spotlight that brightens up my old steady from EF13. All these lights are LED, fortunately. If there were halogen lights like back in the days, it would get hot in here real fast. And not just because of the music. And of course, there's the police lights. A cheap Chinese 2200 volt light as well as a genuine American police light bar from the 1970s. 
Those of you who grew up with 1970s uh, movies and TV shows have seen this all over the place. So this is what the picture looks like as the video switcher creates it. It's still a bit boring. Eh, we can do better. The audio signal coming from the DJ mixer is being embedded into the video and it's being sent via SDI protocol to the streaming PC on the other end of the room. That is PC number 6. A Blackmagic DeckLink Pro adapter feeds the SDI signal into OBS, which then adds all the nice graphics. The corner logo, the player frame, the tippy stream alert, the chat, and all the other overlays. I have a stream deck that allows me to remote control all of these things, so if something happens, I can quickly respond. And that's it. Simple, isn't it? Well, okay, not that simple, okay. <laughs> and some of you might think it's a bit over the top, but everything here is mostly thrown together from equipment I had laying around. And it's actually very hard to find certain things, like players or PCs that can play multiple video streams at the same time at different resolutions. And if they exist, they sometimes are unstable. I like having things redundant, so if one component fails, you may miss a bit, but the stream itself can go on. By the way, this is what my stream looked like when I started. There is a bit of a difference, right? So, this is how it works. This is how I do my thing. If you think this video has been fun, please like and subscribe because as a YouTuber I'm supposed to say that. And I'm adding extra cuts because that's what YouTubers do as well. Cut, 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 cut. Tomorrow we are going to be back with your regularly scheduled fun from past conventions. First YouTuber editor for your content. So, see you then. Goodbye.